Welcome to another video in the how-to series. Today we will be looking at the CyberData SIP paging adapter and how it connects to Business Connect, and we'll be using the Night Ringer feature that happens to be built in. There is a logical sequence to activate and program the Night Ringer feature. In Phone System Programming, we'll go to Phones and Devices. And in Phones and Devices, we will press the plus or add device. And we'll select an existing phone. And we'll assign it to a user. I will use Ramin in this case. And we'll give this device a nickname. We'll use Night Ringer extension 102. Click on Next. We'll enter in all of the 911 information. This is only required as the device does require a digital line to operate, but uh, it won't be used. So we'll just enter this information to get to the next point. And click on No to proceed to checkout. And we'll go to that user profile. and checking the call handling settings for Ramin. We'll notice that the Night Ringer is now available. All we need to do is do the setup and provision for this particular device. And under phones and devices, we'll do a search for extension 102. And we're looking for the device that has a nickname of Night Ringer Extension 102. And there it is. Click the Setup and Provision button. Select Other Phone. And this gives us the values that we need to add into the CyberData SPA Night Ringer settings. Now I'll open another tab and we'll go to the Night Ringer settings. We've already logged into this device, by the way. Under the Night Ringer settings or section, we'll click on Enable Night Ringer. And the settings for SIP server and all required uh, other settings will be copied in. So we'll just do a cut and paste for the SIP server, move that port number down to the remote SIP port. And we'll leave that local SIP port the same. We'll grab the outbound proxy. Copy that in. Move that port number down to the outbound proxy port. Clean up some of the characters. And user ID, the important parts. Make sure you copy this exactly. Paste it in. Also the authentication ID. Paste that in. And of course the password that's required. And paste that in. We'll also change the uh, re-registration interval to 30 seconds. Click Save. And Reboot. We'll wait for the device to reboot. We can click on Done, and while we're waiting for it to reboot, we'll return to Voice Manager under Users. We'll do a search for Ramin, and now this device will show up in his call handling as an available device for extension 102 and we'll just turn it off in this instance do a save and here's where your night ringing functionality would work we'll set up after hours we do have to program some after hour settings uh, we'll just use the default 9 a.m. to 6 p.m.
In the after hours settings, we'll set the forwarded calls option and we'll forward that to the Night Ringer only. Turn off the other devices. Night Ringer is an available device. And it's set. We'll save that. You can increase the timer as well. Default is 20 seconds um, to allow that uh, that ringer to ring. Um, at any other time, you can forward those calls to any other devices that are inside there. And that allows you to uh, uh, have a Night Ringer option or a Night Ringer destination for those inbound calls. And save it. This completes the programming for the Night Ringer feature. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe for more how-to videos.